Okay, in the previous tutorial, we went over how to back up a fishbowl database in version 18. So this time, let's look and see how to restore a backup in version 2018. We'll go to the server, open up the server administrator, go to Tools, Options, go to Restore. There it is. And then we'll browse to the file we want to restore. We'll click on that. Click open. There it is, ready to restore. Waiting for us to click that magic button. We click it and it gives us a warning. It says, are you sure you want to do this? Because the database you're currently connected to will be completely overridden by this new database and all the data in it. So if we are certain, we'll go ahead and click yes and wait for it to do its thing. We can actually, oh, I'm playing with it over here. Um, have it open. And so I don't think it's going to restore if I'm playing with it. Let's try that again. Click restore, and this time I'm not going to touch it. Not going to touch the file. I wanted to watch it, so I came in here and went into this folder to see if I could watch it upload all of the files. Well, that time it worked. For some reason, previously, when I tried to watch them. It didn't work. So the database has been restored. Okay. And we're connected to the new database. We'll click OK. It says reset. Changes will not take effect until it's reset. That means we can't just stop the server, but we need to exit the server. So we'll click OK. And to exit or reset, we come down here, right click, exit. Then we'll come back to the server and restart it. Then open the client. Now we won't be able to open the client or log into the client until this yellow dot turns. Well, I was about to say turn green, but until the yellow dot goes away, you'll see it won't say we have any connection to the server until that dot goes away. Now there it is. And the password is 123. We'll log in and see the data that we had built in previous, in previous videos. This is a database I built from the QuickBooks sample file. So if you want to see that video, go ahead and, and take a look at that. That was a fun video to create a fishbowl database from a QuickBooks sample file. So we've created the database, we've backed up the database, and we've restored the database. We're going to have all kinds of fun with this database. So stay tuned for more videos as we play with this database. If you want to see more videos from Brando Consulting, click subscribe.